Okay, we are going to solve problem 3.41 of Sadiku book. So the question is find i using mass analysis and i is here. It's going up. So from this drawing, we can conclude that i, we can infer that i, i here is equal to the current that uh, on the same direction as i is i3 so i3 is the positive one and in the opposite direction is i2 so we will have to find out what is i3 and what is i2 to find out what i is so let's do at each loop so let's start by loop 1 here loop 1 let's do loop 1 we are using KVL as usual so the sum of voltage in a loop is equal to zero and we start at this resistance here the resistance here is 2 ohm but it is resistance so we need to convert it to volt so we multiply it by the current that passed through it and we focus on I1 because we are on loop 1 so the current that passed through it is I1 and I2 is also passed through it but on the opposite direction sorry this is I1 I, so I2 is passed through it but on the opposite direction so it's minus I2 here and then this resistance here then and the only current that passed through it is I1 and then we have this voltage source here so it's already voltage so we don't need to convert it into anything else and it's flowing from negative to positive so the sign is negative negative 6 and we have done all the components here that equal to 0 now we have 2 i1 minus 2 i2 plus 10 i1 and that will equal to let's move this to right hand side so it's equal to 6 and I will have 2 I1 plus what is it minus no, 2 plus 10 is 12 and for the I2 it's minus 2 minus 2 I2 and that will equal to 6 we can divide both sides by 2 so I will have 6 I1 minus I2 is equal to 3 and let's save this as equation number 1 now let's move on to loop number 2 loop number 2 is here so let's do again KVL the sum of voltage in a loop is equal to zero and let's start let's start at the same place here the 2 ohm resistance but now we focus on i2 so i2 come first and the other current that pass through it is i1 here is, and it is on the opposite direction from i2 so i1 is going there so minus i1 and now we have this 1 ohm resistance we have I pass through it but we don't need to worry about it yet so this one is I2 and I3 is going to the opposite direction so minus I3 and then this is voltage source it's flowing from positive to negative so the sign will be positive and the last one is the 4 ohm resistance and the only current that passed through it is I2 so that will equal to 0 and let's do some algebra here 2 I2 minus 2 I1 and then plus I2 minus I3 I will move this A to the right hand side so plus 4 I2 is equal to minus 8 now minus 2 plus i2 is minus 1 i2 no 
this is i1 sorry minus 2 i1 okay let's write it minus 2 i1 and for i2 we have 2 plus 1 3 3 plus 4 it's 7 7 i2 and for i3 we only have this one so minus i3 and that will equal to minus 8 let's have this as equation number 2 and now let's move on to loop number 3 again we are using KVL so the sum of the voltage in a loop is equal to 0 now we start from this voltage source 6 volt is flowing from positive to negative so it is have pos it have it, ha it has positive sign 6 and then this one is 5 and the only current that passed through it is I3 and this one is voltage source and it's flowing from negative to positive so the sign will be negative negative 8 minus 8 and then we will have this 1 ohm resistance and the current that pass through it is I3 here and I2 on the opposite direction and we have done for all the components here and that will equal to 0 okay now 6 minus 8 is minus 2 minus 2 but I want to move it to the right hand side so it's 2 and for i2 it is only have minus i2 here minus i2 plus and for i3 i have 5 i3 and 1 i3 so i will have 6 i3 and let's save this equation as equation number 3 now we have three equations here 1 2 and 3 let's solve it but I won't solve it manually I want to use MATLAB to get it faster so I will make this on matrix form so here I will have this one times this one I want this as I1 I2 times I3 here so we put the coefficient of I1 here 6 and i2 minus 1 and 3 i3 it's 0 they don't have i3 here and for equation number 2 we will have minus 2 for i1 7 for i2 and then for i3 it is minus 1 and then for this one it is 0 for i1 and minus 1 for i2 and then 6 for i3 and that will equal to this one is 3 this one is minus 8 and the last one is 2 okay so we can plug this into MATLAB and get the result of i1 i2 and i3 so i will i will not i will not show you on the screen but i will tell you the result of each so let me calculate that in matlab Okay, I have calculated that in MATLAB, so I will have I1 here. I1 is equal to 0 0.3291 and I2 is minus 1.0256 and I3 is 0 0.1624 and all the unit is ampere 
and now we will have to calculate i which is i3 minus i2 and let's just plug in the number minus minus one two five six and that will let us to one point one eighty eight ampere so here is our final answer for for this problem and hopefully i didn't make any mistakes and thank you for watching